honestly, hula hooping brings me hope and joy. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know, it like it awakens this like childlike part inside of me that I think we all like begin to lose when you grow up. That's just, you know, focused on playing with the world instead of taking it too seriously. My parents, uh, for the long, when they had me, they got married at 25 when I was born. Yeah, they both dropped out of college when they had me, and it's, you know, I was just, I was like a bad omen for them. <laughs> it's okay, they love me. Like, it's just so nice to have a discourse with the piano as opposed to, like, other people, because other people are really awesome, but also stressful and full of so many um, ideas and different like motion emotions and things like that and the piano is only just like full of music and it's like kind of a beautiful tool in just that way helping people yeah yeah that's 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 my whole point we interacted with the residents there um, only ones that you know, were deemed safe for us to interact with. I was kind of terrified of meeting and interacting with people who had schizophrenia or stuff because I'd never been around it. Mm -hmm. And you know, we, I'd be sitting at this table with somebody who's diagnosed with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder or all these different things and we'd be talking about our favorite candy bars. It's like, oh, you like Kit Kats? Cool! So how long have you been doing this? <laughs> um, for about five minutes out of boredom. On Friday night. <laughs> or oh, it's Saturday night. It's Saturday night. But <laughs> I can see why you don't think that because this is me redundant. I love that. Thank you. I'm, I'm destroying but I'm also creative. It's cool. <laughs> Thinking and learning and knowledge production as it as it often happens here is really just about like prestige and uh, like an intense rationality yeah. um, and like a disembodiment. So to that end, uh, I don't think I'm ever coming back here. Yeah. Because I'm I'm I'm. Um, I'm just full of pain and um, isolation. To go into the humanity of things, you have to embrace the empathy of things. We're not separate. We're separate because we're afraid. We're afraid of the world. We're afraid that we'll be judged. We're afraid we're not good enough, not pretty enough, not tall enough, not strong enough, not smart enough. So we carry on this hidden anxiety. So we, we push away our breath. We don't even breathe well. Mm -hmm. We don't take full breaths. When you're able to take full breaths in a time of trauma or a time of love, type of whatever, whatever it is, all of life, that's when you start experiencing life the way it should be experienced. That's called empathy. You don't find yourself separating, you find yourself joining in, saying yes to the world. This is my therapy. <laughs> it's getting me. I have to explain myself and I love it.